Hello, my name is Katie Moore and I'm currently working on technology regarding fast fashion, the profitable business model of mass producing new products based on catwalk trends and high fashion designs at a low cost. I have been researching the main issues and problem areas within the specific business field. After my research and interviews with many fast fashion consumers, it is evident that the what the future must look like. More specifically, what fast fashion technology must look like. I hope to create a world in 2050 where the earth is prioritized and there is available technology to help keep the planet clean and alive. For that to happen, 2050 must have technology that is unimagined and much greater than what the world has today. The first area of promise that this documentary will be focusing on is reducing textile waste. This will be done through the development of a machine that allows the average person to put in clothes they no longer want and in return, the machine will turn the clothing into new items. Secondly, the next area of promise that this documentary will be focusing on is air pollution reduction. Rather than buses, planes, cars, and other transportation vehicles, 2050 will hold personal electric drones for each member of society over the age of 15 to deliver packages directly to them. In this section of the documentary, I will be discussing reducing textile waste in the year 2050. I will be diving into how it will be done, who it will benefit, and where this area of promise stems from. The year 2050 will be able to reduce textile waste through a machine that takes old and broken clothing and recycles it into new clothing. For the machine to develop the new clothing item, its user will plug the machine into a phone, laptop, or other device that has a picture of the desired clothing item. The user will then put the old or broken clothing into it, as well as their measurements and sizes for the clothing to fit well. The machine will then create a whole new piece of clothing using a picture and textiles that would have otherwise been thrown out. This technology will ultimately benefit both society and the individual. As for society, the machine will help to reduce the amount of textile waste produced each year. According to the British Broadcasting Stations, the average person generates 82 pounds of textile waste every year. This machine will drastically decrease this number and hopefully eventually eliminate it. The elimination of textile waste will have a positive relationship with a decrease in air and land pollution. There will be no more burning of clothes, no more excess clothing sitting in landfills, and fewer landfill gases in the air. Clean air, air and grounds are the first step to having a more sustainable earth and healthier society. Moreover, it will benefit the individual by creating an unlimited wardrobe. The average consumer will not only save money, time, and effort on shopping, but will instantaneously be able to create and wear trendy clothing. With pressure from social media and internet influencers, having an updated wardrobe at a consumer's fingertip is essential to the majority of fast fashion consumers. The machine has the potential to do this. This technology will be developed using the mindset of a futurologist and follow the ideas backing futurology theories such as the techno-determinist consequence. Futurology is the study of the future. Typically, it discusses what is possible, probable, and preferable in some unforeseeable circumstances that may occur in the future under technology. Futurologist Franklin Ford has expressed that culture prods technological innovations into existence. His ideas are very essential to understanding how and why this machine is necessary. With the rapid growth in fast fashion consumption, environmental destruction has exponentially grown. Consequently, new technology must be made. Ford's way of viewing the inventions of new technology perfectly describes the situation. Moving on, in this portion of the documentary, I will be discussing 2050 technology to help reduce air pollution. According to the Clean Clothes campaign, there are over 100 billion garments made and delivered each year due to fast fashion. This number is extremely high and reflects the high desire for new clothes that contemporary society holds. Consequently, the pollution from shipping vehicles such as trucks, trains, boats, and planes is extremely high and dangerous for Earth's air. To combat this, fast fashion technology must transform into something more eco-friendly by the year 2050. In this area of promise, the technology of personal electrically powered delivery drones for each member of society over the age of 15 will be discussed. Having a personal drone that is run by electricity is a futuristic technological solution to combat air pollution. The drones will deliver packages directly to the consumer and eliminate any intermediary steps. The lack of human steps make this invention an aspect of cyborgism. Essentially, by 2050, the traditional human mailman will be transformed into a machine. Cyborgism reforms, refers to the conglomeration of man and woman in technology. Despite the classic connotation of cyborgs only being characters in fictional entertainment and provoking images of supernatural and imaginary humans, these species are more common than the average person assumes. 
This is because of the current exponential growth in technology. Every day, people and machines are becoming more similar through technological innovations and the need for enhancements. Drones in 2050 will benefit both individual and societies as, whole, as a whole. The lack of traditional delivery means will reduce air pollution and ultimately help save Earth. Cleaner, less polluted air will help to slow down the warming of Earth and climate change, helping society's future. Drones will help individuals as they will make the shipping and delivery process easier to track and give it the ability to be done anywhere. Having this ease will allow consumers to be more relaxed around holidays, birthdays, or any time they need an item quickly. This drone technology is a direct result of the foundational theory, cyborgs. The drones are removing the need for pure humans in delivery process. This elimination shows how people can and are evolving into part machine and essentially becoming cyborgs. In present day, this idea is already being talked about due to the dependability on cell phones. So by the year 2050, the concept of cyborgs will be more normalized. Author Franklin Foer discusses how phones are now an extension of humans. In 2050, personal drones will not only take out humans in the delivery process, but the drones will act as the same extensions that phones are to humans in present day. Last but not least, the next area of promise for 2050 is 100% recyclable packaging. Creating 100% recyclable packaging will exponentially decrease the amount of litter seen on streets, in landfills, and the ocean. 40% of all plastic produced is used for packaging of some kind, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. This enormous amount of plastic has produced over 27 million tons of plastic in landfills in just a single year and has resulted in 5.2 trillion pieces of plastic waste accumulation in oceans. These statistics are alarming and must be brought under control, as their source is traceable. These high percentages are directly correlated to fast fashion, as many companies wrap individual pieces of clothing, as well as whole delivery packages in plastic packaging. To combat the undermining systematic issue of plastic waste, new technology must be implemented. This is why packaging in 2050 will be made of 100% recycled materials and will be 100% recyclable. This will allow packages to constantly be in a sustainable cycle. In order to incentivize the public to recycle and keep the system going, there will be drop-off boxes scattered across the country, where each pound of recyclables dropped off will be rewarded to whoever drops them off. The sustainable packaging will mainly just benefit society, as pollution is a global issue. Without excess plastic waste from fast fashion packaging, the amount of plastic that sits on landfills and gets filtered into water will be substantially lower. A major issue currently is that 35% of all microplastic is a result of synthetic materials used to make and distribute clothing. These substances pollute oceans and create toxic substances as they break down. Moreover, they are entering the marine food chain, which ultimately ends up in human consumption. Lowering this 35% will be very feasible with the 2050 technology and be greatly beneficial to society as its food chain and land will be clean. The concept of creating 100% recyclable packaging ties in with big technology companies. The big tech companies, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and Google, all hold a large percent of today's market share. These companies' main objectives are to hold as much power and make the biggest profits by creating new technology products and online spaces to feed the consumers. As author Franklin Ford discusses, these companies are in a race to become the everyday consumer's personal assistant. Having power over revolutionary technology that is so beneficial to society will give the company major leverage and platform to capitalize off of. Based on Ford's discussion on the big tech companies and the need for comprehensive technology in 2050, 100% recyclable packaging is the perfect technology for limiting waste in streets, landfills, and oceans. With a combination of my extensive research on fast fashion and intensive areas of promise for a better, cleaner, and more sustainable future, my vision of 2050 should be adopted for the greater good of society and individuals. Developing a future that is modern and uses impeccable technology is the only hope for the survival of the fashion, of fast fashion and the safety of Earth. With the current rate of growth of fast fashion industry, technology is, only hope, is the only hopeful solution to textile waste, air pollution, and landfill buildups. Furthermore, the finding of Franklin Foer on futurology, cyborgs, and big technology proves that new machinery, personal drones, and 100% recycled material packaging are very promised areas to focus on in order to have the year 2050 be cutting edge and hold a...